So let's continue and we will left from the previous lecture. Let's see a question. The question says that the polynomial ax cube plus ax ax cube plus bx squared plus 5x minus 2 where a and b are constants is denoted by x p of x. It is given that 2x minus 1 is a factor of p of x and p of x is divided by x minus 2 the remainder is 12. So our first part says find the values of p and p. Find the values of a and b. Let's first analyze the factor. It is 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to half. So the p of half would be equal to 0. So p of half would be equal to 0. So this would become a half q plus b half square plus 5 into half minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we will get an expression in terms of a and b that simplifying it up would give me b plus 2 equals to minus 4. This is our expression number 1. So we have analyzed our factor expression. Now let's analyze the remainder expression. For the remainder, the divisor is x minus 2. So that means x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x equals to 2. And the remainder is 12. So p of 2 is equal to 12. So just plug in the values. 12 is equal to a 2 cube plus b 2 square plus 5 into 2 minus 2. So that would give me a final answer as 8a plus 4b is equal to 4. So taking 4 common would give me 2a plus b is equal to 1. So this is my equation number 2. So equation number 1 and equation number 2 I have. Now I can solve them simultaneously to get my values of a and b. Solving them simultaneously would give me a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 2. So the next part of the same question is the question says that when a and b have these values, find the quadratic factor of b of x. So what we can do is write the expression 2x cubed minus 3x square put plug in the values of a and b plus 5x minus 2. Is equals to we have already a factor 2x minus 1. So out of a cubic equation, if we already have a factor, the remaining would be a quadratic factor. So quadratic factor uh, can be written as ax squared plus bx plus c. And what we can do is simply compare the coefficients. Now comparing the coefficients of x cube, x cube is 2 over here. And over here in the x cube would be x square into 2x. So that would become 2ax cube. So 2a. So the value of a would be 1. So our next step is to compare the constants. The constant over here is negative 2. And the constant over here is negative c. So that would become c is equal to 1. Now we can compare any middle term power. That was a maximum power. First we will compare the maximum power. Our next would be to compare the constant and now any middle term. It could be x square or even x. Comparing x square, what we will get is 
minus 3 is equal to 2x square b, 2b x square, so 2b and the other would be minus a x square, so that would be negative a, so 2b minus a equals to 3, so the value of a is 1, so negative 3 minus a is 1, so the value of b would become 2b equals minus 2 and b becomes negative 1. So just plug in the values of a, b and c and here is your quadratic factor which becomes x square plus minus x and the value of c is 1. So this is your other quadratic factor. So this completes our polynomial chapter and do like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.